All right, today we're going to talk about 48 different Brompton parts that you should know about. There are so many parts at the Brompton. Let's go over it a little bit. At least the next time you run into a troubleshooting situation, you will know how to address each of these parts. Number one, stem. The first part that you will see when a Brompton is riding into you. It offers the height for the handlebar bar to sit on. Brompton to offer various size of stem for you to pick from. Number two, the handlebar. bar. It sits right above the stem. This is one of the three contacting points with the Brompton that's made when you're riding. There are generally two different shapes, or should I say three, that the Brompton's offering. Number three, handlebar bar grip. The grip, not much to be said here. It helps your hand to getting the grip of the bike. No pun intended. Number four, stem bolt. The little bolt, four bolts if you're on the T-line, to secure the handlebar bar to the stem. Number five, stem catcher nipple. The male part of the catcher unit that is a ball shape that is just off the stem. Number six, the stem catcher. The female side of the catcher unit. It catches the other side, the stem, when the Brompton is fold and keep it there. Number seven, stem catcher bolt. The bolt that secures the catcher to the fork. Number eight, cable gathener. It may not look like anything, but this little thing keeps all the cables in place and looking neat. Do you know the cable gathener actually split the front cables into two different parts? Number nine, shifters. This is where you control the gears of your Brompton. This, there's no shifter if you have a speed. Single speed. Single speed. You will get two different shifter at your left and right if you have a six speed Brompton. With your left hand side shifting your external cox gear, the right hand side will be handling the internal gearing. Number 10, bell, ding, ding, ding. The best way to politely telling people that you are there or not. Number 11, brake levers, easy and simple. You pull them to slow down the bike. Number 12, main stem board, it secure the stem towards the fork. Number 13, expander. This is the part that you don't see from the outside. When you tighten the main stem board, it will pull in the expander. The little nut or whatever you describe it will help to secure the stem to the fork. Number 14, headset. The part here provides an interface for your Brompton to steer to turn smoothly. Number 15, front carrier blocks. This is where you mount all the supporting bags and accessories for your ride. Just in case you need a text version of this video, you will be able to find a link at the description area below. Number 16, fork. Do I need to explain more? Your front wheel goes here. Number 17, mainframe. This is the main structure of the bike, the master of the wall, the most important part of the whole bicycle, I say. Everything critical connects to here. Number 18, rear triangle. It holds on to everything at the rear end, like the wheels and the gearing parts. It smartly gets forward into the mainframe as well. Number 19, brake calipers. There's one at the front and one at the rear. Together, they help you to modulate to stop the Brompton when needed. Number 20, brake shoes. There are two pairs of these on each of the Brompton. They hold on to the replaceable brake pads and provide a fine adjustment to the brake pads position relatively to the braking tracks on the wheels. Number 21, brake pads. The interface, the material that provides braking action when the levers were pulled. These are the consumable items and needed to be replaced when they are used up. Number 22, front wheels. The wheels that sit at the front of the bike and it just rotate. 23, tires, the main contacting point with the road surface. The tire provides traction and puncture resistance to the wheel system when you're riding. Number 24, inner tubes. It holds the tire pressure and hence providing the foundation of a smooth riding experience. Number 25, press the valve. This is where you get air pumped into the inner tube. It is also known as the friend valve. You'll be able to find them on the T-line of the Bromptons. 26, Strata valve, also known as the American valve. You will be able to find them on all the cars. They are usually used on the A, C, P line of Bromptons. Number 27, the valve cap. Sometimes it's called the dust cap as well. It keeps the valve clean. You can ride with or without it. 28, high pressure rim tape. The tape that stops the inner tube from popping into the holes at the rim. 29, spokes, the thin metal rod that connects the rolling hubs to the rims of the Brompton. Number 30, nipples, the interface between the spokes and the rims. They are usually there to provide adjustability 
fine tuning to the wheels. Number 31, skewer. With the new P and T line, the skewer usually use an Allen key to pull two sides of the stoppers together to secure the wheels onto either the front fork or the rear triangle. So there are no axles on the P and T lines. With the A and C line, there's an axle on the wheels, and those wheels are secured to the Brompton with some nuts. Number 32, front hook. Brompton uses the front hook to secure the front wheel fold in and keep it there. Number 33, mud guard. Sometimes it's being called the fenders. They keep the road dirt and water off your back when the roads are not in the driest condition. Number 34, cable housing. This is the cable that you're seeing connecting the brakes or the shifters. Number 35, cables cord. The cord runs inside the housing and is responsible for the pulling action. With the brakes, it is a silver gray color metal wire that sticks out at the end of the housing. Number 36, cables. When we use the term cables, we are genuinely referring to the combination of the housing, the outer shell and the inner cord all together. Number 37, end cap for cables. That metal cap sits at the very end of the cables cord. It stops the cord from going frayed. Number 38, hinge clamp plates. The metal plates that hold the hinge together when it is unfolded. Number 39, hinge clamp bolt. Also known as the hinge clamp levers. This locks the hinge plate to the secure position during the ride. Number 40, hinge clamps. A general description to call the hinge clamp plates and the bolt set. Number 41, hinge clamp pins. The pins that secure and provide the pivot point at both the main frame and the stem. Number 42, bottom bracket, also referred as a BB. This is where the crank is mounted onto and rotating it. Number 43, crank arms. They can be called just the crank as well. The pedaling motion through the crank will provide you and the bike the forward motion powered. Number 44, drive side. Drive side of the crank is on the right hand side of the bike, the side with the chain ring. Number 45, non-drive side. It is the opposite side of the drive side. So it is on the left hand side of your crank arms. Number 46, chain ring. The ring with a lot of teeth sitting on the drive side of the crank arm. It grabs onto the chain to propel forward when you are pedaling. Number 47, chain ring bolt. They are used to secure the chain ring to the crank. Number 48, pedals. This is where your foot is in contact with the bike. It provides an interface for you to propel the bike forward. Sorry guys, I lied. There should be a total of 75 different parts on the Brompton. Let me grab a drink and continue with the listing. Okay, I'm back. Let's start again. Number 49, foldable pedals. It usually sit on the non-dry side of the Brompton. It gets folded up, consume less space when the whole bike is folded. Number 50, pedal bolts. You usually don't have to worry about this. It is the bolt that secures the original foldable pedals to the non-dry side of the crank. Number 51, detachable pedals. An upgrade option for the A, C, and P line. The pedals can be removed from the crank arm to reduce the consumed space. The T line came with such options. Number 52, chain. It's made up of wide and narrow rollable links to transfer the force that you put onto the pedals to the rear wheel and drive the Brompton forward. Number 53, Sipo shim. The intermediate materials parts that sits between the main frame and the seat post. It helps you to hold on to the seat post when, you're, when we are riding. Number 54, seat post clamps with the clip. This is a two-in-one part. It provides an adjustable release system for the seat post as well as hooking onto the rear end of the Brompton with the clip. Number 55, seat post. The rod that support the saddle to provide a seated position on the Brompton. Number 56, Penta Clip, the part that mount the saddle to the seat poles. Number 57, Saddle, some refers it as the seat, but I'm a no big fan for such name. The saddle lets you get seated on the Brompton comfortably. <sighs> Number 58, Seat Post Bun, the rubber part that goes to the end of the seat poles. It provides a soft landing to the seat poles when it's sliding down during the fall. It also provides a resistance to stop the bike from moving around when it is folded as well. Number 59, rear hinge assembly. I'm guessing most of the Brompton riders wouldn't know where this part is located at. It is actually the few small parts that holds the rear triangle to the mainframe. Number 60, stop this. The little mushroom thingy that pushes against the seat post to stop it from unfolding on the C and A line. I made a video about this earlier. You can refer to the links at the description area for it. Brompton to have an improved version of it at the P and T line. I usually call them the stop block. 
Number 61, suspension block. The block that sits between the top side of the rear triangle to the mainframe. Its main purpose is to provide some form of suspension to comfort the ride. This is also an area where the seat post clamp hooked onto the rear triangle. Listen. There's so much more content coming up with the channel. Like and subscribe to share the love if you haven't already done so. Number 62, suspension bolt and assembly. This is the bolt and the plastic small parts that mount the suspension block to the rear triangle. Number 63, rear wheel. The wheel that sits at the rear end of the Brompton. It is responsible for driving the Brompton forward. It has all the gearing at this wheel. Number 64, sprockets. Sometimes they are called the chain wheel. This is where the chain meet with the wheels. You will get one on the A line, two on the C line, four on the P line, and either one or four on the T line. The number of sprockets that you have directly having an effect on the number of gears that you have on your Brompton. Number 65, internal hub, is sitting at the center of the rear wheel. It provides all the gearing. You normally would find them on the A and C line of Brompton. Usually the right hand side shifter is responsible for switching this. Number 66, external gearing. This is the external sprocket at the rear wheel. You will often find them at the C, P and T line of Brompton. Usually the shifting on the external gearing would be controlled by the left hand side shifter. Number 67, tensioner, the little black plastic arms that swings around and hold the chain in place. It also helps to keep the chain tensioned during the ride and during your gear shifting. Number 68, tensioner wheel, also known as the jockey wheel, the smaller wheels that sits at the tensioner. Number 69, chain pusher, it's locating right above the tensioner at the rear triangle. With the A and C line, the external gearing was shifted by pushing the tensioner wheels to the correct direction. The chain pusher does exactly that. Number 70, rear derailleur. It locates at the same location as the chain pusher, but with a different method of functioning. They are usually be found on the P and T line of the Bromptons. Number 71, flap, the mud flap. The soft extension from the mud guard that really, yes, I said really, stop the water and dirt from getting to your back. Number 72, mud guard stays. It's also called the fender stays. If your Brompton has a fender, you most likely will find them at the front and the rear wheel. It kind of holds the fenders at this place. Number 73, easy wheels. A pair of them should be at the rear triangle to assist you in pushing the Brompton when the Brompton is folded. Number 74, rear rack. It is sitting at the rear end of the Brompton. It provides a platform to carry extra luggages. A rear rack bag or even a pannier would be a good addition to the rear rack. Riders often use a bungee to secure stuff at the rack as well. Number 75, fender wheels. The little wheels that sit at the rear end of the rear fender. It is used to stabilize the Brompton when it is folded. Oh, woohoo! That's all from me. I know there are still a few things here and there that I haven't covered it. Will you be able to tell me some? Please let me know down in the comment area below. Thanks for getting to the very deep end of the video. Tell me if you got here at the deep end. If you got here, you are awesome, mate. Have a good day ahead, and I shall see you on the next ride. Dash.